What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from Unibrew, and they are out of Chambly, Quebec, Canada, and this is their Blanche de Chambly. So they are calling this one a Belgian-style wheat ale, which is basically a Belgian-style vitbia, and on the label, they say ale brewed with coriander and orange peel. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. 10 IBUs, and at the time of review, I believe, I believe this bottle is approximately six months old. And the reason I say that is because they have a Best Buy date of August 23rd of 2023 on here, and I believe uh, they give two years on the bottle on date. So this was probably bottled on August 21st of 2021. At least that's what I'm thinking. Um, Unibrew focuses on Belgian style beers and a lot of uh, authentic Belgian beers. They do the same thing where like a, you know, a, a Vit beer gets a couple years. If you do like a Belgian strong dark or quad, it's like four to five. So that's what I'm thinking. I think it's relatively, well, six months old is not super fresh or anything, but when you're picking beers off the shelf, you can't always have them super fresh, especially for classics like this. Anyway, so uh, it's been about five years since I had this one. I think I had this one last in 2017. I bought Unibrews. They had like a variety pack with a lot of their classic beers. And I always think this is a well-made uh, Belgian-style wit beer. Like, it's just really good. And I enjoy Belgian wit beers. I like German Hefeweizens. When it comes to wheat beers in general, I gravitate towards the Belgian and German styles more so than the American styles, like American Pal wheat ales and American wheat ales in general. Just not my jam. Something like this, totally my jam. So we're going to use the Belgian tulip. Not like, like, you know, proper, I would say, in terms of, like, glassware, but... It's the closest thing I have to anything Belgian related. So anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to pour like, I would say like two thirds of this in and then or like three fourths and in the end do all the goodies at the uh, end of the review. So let's give it a pour here. All right, so we'll do something like that. And at the end, we'll swish it all in and pour it. So yeah, it has that cloudy yellow orange color. Kind of, it's funny because um, this kind of looks like a, New England style IP or something, if you just look at it. But uh, it has that honey orange color, very murky. Can't really see. Well, you get a little bit. You can see a little bit through it. It's not completely opaque. Has the head kind of died out, but, you know, it's not proper glass. So in a, in a proper glass, you probably have a one or two finger head. So there you go. I, it's, it's a one finger soap suzzy looking head. Looks like a Belgian vit beer. Not much more to say about it. Let's get a nose. Yeah. So you definitely get the orange peel. You get the coriander. And then I'm getting, like, light hints of, like, um like a banana or a bubble gum from the uh, yeast masters. <sighs> Coriander could be coming from the, uh, almost like a, like a, like a clove, like a phenolic uh, yeast kind of clove sensation as well. Has that, you know, almost like wheat bread type of uh, malt character. There's also some like lemon character, like a zesty lemon. This to me, this beer and the beer style itself, Belgian Vit beers, are like great summer crushers when the uh, the the weather just starts turning and it becomes warm. You could crush a bunch of these in it. You know, lower ABV, most of these are like sub five and a half. Yeah, I could just crush a bunch of these. It smells super refreshing. Uh, it's bright, it's fruity. Even at six months old, it's kind of screaming off the top. Really good. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. So a beer like this, in the style itself, a couple things that I always don't notice. One, they're quite dry, and two, they're very carbonated, and you can tell that right from the get-go. Body on this, at 5%, it's kind of straight medium body. For a 5% beer, I would dare I say full body, but like for just a beer in general, like it's medium body, really nice. A little bit thicker, probably, you know, the wheat helping that out. The mouthfeel. While it's super carbonated and effervescent and just like spritzy on the tongue, there is this nice, soft, smooth uh, kind of mouthfeel. Uh, again, the wheat helping out in that situation. And just really on the finish, it's smooth and almost creamy, but it's, it's, it's smooth on the palate on the finish. The flavors carry over from the taste almost to a tea. I would say the lemon is a little bit more prominent at the front of my palate. I'm hit with like zesty lemon, a little bit of like a lemon juice type of thing. There's orange, there's or sweeter orange peel. There's a juicy orange, there's a zesty orange, a lot of citrus tones at the front of the palate. Underneath is this nice, like, bready wheat kind of uh, base to it. After the zesty uh, citrus fruits, there's coriander, there's a little bit of clove, a slight tinge of, like, banana and bubblegum, very minute, very minute. Then I always, you know, with German Hefeweizens, 
the banana and clove kind of dominate. And with these, you're getting more like coriander and like uh, orange peel. Obviously, they use uh, coriander and orange peel in this one. And But I still get some of that yeast, uh, ester, and phenolic kind of um, banana, bubblegum, uh, clove thing. But it's just not as big. It's kind of like, you know, the, the fourth or fifth players. On the back of the palate, I'm almost hit with like the citrus, juicy, like almost slight touch of like tart acidic kind of thing. Um, it finishes, like I said, full on dry. There's really no bitterness to this beer. I mean, a very slight bitterness on the back of the palate, but this is more dry than bitter. Um, so when you drink this, it's going to dry out your palate, but it's not going to be like an astringent bitter kind of, uh, kind of feeling on the palate. Super easy to drink. 5% sure. Again, this is a summer crusher. And this is a summer crusher from the aspect that a lot of times people be like, oh, that's Summer Crusher, and, and maybe it's like a real fruity beer, but it doesn't have any kind of dryness or bitterness on the back of the palate. Very minute amount to kind of balance it out. This is quite dry, like I said, full-on dry. So this is something you could drink a six-pack of and have no issues doing so. Like, this is one you could easily put back. So, again, I've had this one numerous times. It's been about five years since I had it, and I always enjoy this one. I think for a non- um, Belgian brewery to kick out a Belgian vit beer of this quality. I think it's I think it's damn nice. So uh, not much more to say about it. Let me throw in the particulates here at the bottom and then I'll give it a full on rating. See if it changes. A lot of times it does. And we'll give it a go. It's gonna be all the goodies at the bottom here. Oh yeah. Cloud up the beer and I mean it doesn't get super cloudy, but you're pouring in all the all the sediment. Um yeah, so it didn't really change it much. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's like now it looks like a real bright kind of hazy New England style IPA. But yeah, it looks like a, just a, you know, a classic wit beer. Okay, so pouring in the sediment, the esters and the phenols from the yeast bumped up a little bit more, a little bit more of like that bubblegum, more so than banana and that clove. But still, I think the predominant note for me is the orange peel and the coriander with that wheat base. So um, is this a good beer? Like, is this my favorite style? No. Will it ever be? No. Is this my favorite beer of all time? No. But I think stylistically for me personally of vid beers I've had, this is one of my favorites, especially brewed in um, North America. It just is. So Blanche de Chambly, which I'm probably butchering it. So don't hold it against me. I try. I try, but I'm terrible at pronunciations. I'm going to give this uh, stylistically, this is like a high four out of five. This is like a 4.6 for me. I think this is fucking great for the style personally. Uh, personal preference, high four out of five. I'm going to go 4.1. I think this is just fucking well made. Every single time I have this beer, I ask myself, and it, this happens a lot, so it's not something that is only this beer. I always say, why don't I buy this more often? And especially since I can just pick this up for a couple bucks a bottle, so price and availability. I think this is like 10, 11 bucks for a six pack, so you're talking less than two bucks a bottle. Fucking great deal. And availability, Unibrew gets distro all over. Uh, they're owned by Sapporo now, so you should be able to see their core offerings and some of their specialties but like a beer like this you should be able to get pretty much anywhere in your area especially if you live in either canada or uh the u.s you should be able to see this one without question again i think it's a very good beer for what it is and uh 4.1 out of 5 is a really good score on my channel and again stylistically it's like a 4.6 uh if you've had this one before let me know what you think about it i know a lot of you out there have had this one so post in the comment section what do you think do you, do you think as far as belgian fit beers they've done a great job with this one what belgian fit beers do you like more than this is this at the top of the food chain for you i don't know if there's there's definitely other belgian fit beers i've had that i think are but here's the thing just let me make this uh this this uh, review a little bit longer by now. A lot of people have clicked off, so it doesn't even matter. Um, one of the best Belgian Vitbias I've ever had is from the Genesee Brew House in Rochester, New York. They did one that was uh, draft only, and it was probably the best Belgian Vitbia I've ever had, and it was delicious. I hope at some point they either can or bottle that because I would love to review that one. I'd love to try it again. But um, as far as like you know, commercially available ones, this is up there for me. So. Once again, thanks to everybody for stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Appreciate it. Like I said, post comment section if you had it before. And uh, 5%, like I said, yeah, sure. Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.